Hello, I am Krishna Raghavendran and in this tutorial of MIT App Inventor, we are going to see how to create a traffic like simulation mobile app using MIT App Inventor. For this, we are going to use an extension called LED View extension. Now, if you are new to my channel, I create tutorials on MIT App Inventor so that you can create fantastic mobile apps like we are going to do in this tutorial. So start now by clicking the red subscribe button so that you can create fantastic Android mobile app so first to create this traffic light app I already told you that we need an extension called LED view extension so first you need to go to this website I have given the link in the description below next here you can see LED view extension this is the extension and if you scroll down a bit here you can see the AIX file which is the extension file if you don't know what extensions are you can check out my video in the the link is in the description below now let's download the extension now back in MIT app inventor you need to go to extension and from here you need to import the extension so you need to import the AIX file which we have downloaded now I have already imported the LED view extension so let's bring it in to the components as we are going to use three lights red yellow and then green for the traffic light we are going to bring in three LED view components so I have already brought one the second one and then the third one next we are going to use this we are going to show the LED in a horizontal arrangement so you can see that in this block here you can see that the input is going to be in horizontal arrangement so let's create three horizontal arrangements so that we can show the three LEDs let's go to the layout and here we are going to bring in horizontal arrangement let's bring this to be at the center of the horizontal screen so let's click on the screen and here align horizontal should be center now we are going to put the height of this to be 33 percent and then the width to be 33 percent because we are going to put three lights and we are going to divide it equally so 33 plus 33 plus 33 is 99 percent which is almost 100 percent so let me duplicate this control c and control v and again control c and control v now we have brought in all the three horizontal arrangements in which we are going to show the led now let's click on the screen and we are going to change the background color of this to be black so now we are going to put an interval between all the three lights so first the red light which is the led view one stop light will glow and then after five seconds the yellow light will glow which is led view two and and again after five seconds the green light will glow so this is ad then again the red light will glow after five seconds so we are going to put a five second interval between all the all the three lights so to do that we are we need the clock component so let's go to sensors and we are going to bring in clock now let's go to the block section first we are going to create two variables so the first variable is going to be seconds and let's put this to be zero next we are going to create another variable called color and the value for this is going to be an empty string so let's go to text and here you can see an empty string now when screen one is initializing which means the app is loading we are going to set up all the three lights led view one two and three in the horizontal arrangements so here you can see in led view one create led the input is going to be horizontal arrangement one so we are going to show it in horizontal arrangement one let's bring in this block now we are going to duplicate this and we are going to show LED view 2 in horizontal arrangement 2 and then LED view 3 in horizontal arrangement 3 but these lights will not glow only the first light which is the LED view 1 will glow when the app is loading so here you can see in LED view 1 animate light inten intensity so let's bring in this block so we are going to use this block to make the light glow so the let's we are going to make the first light which is the red light to glow first we are going to put the intensity of the light 
so we are going to bring in the matte block here and then the intensity should be i'm going to put it to be three so the higher the intensity you put the brighter the light will look so next the animation we are going to put the animation to be true and then the color the color is going to be red color because it's the first light is red as we set the color to be red at the first when the screen one is initializing we are going to set the color variable to be red so in this string i'm going to put red to put a 5 second delay between each leds we are going to bring in this block from clock 1 when clock 1 dot timers so here we are going to increment the seconds variable by 1 So for every one second, this variable be, will be increased by one. So let's go to math, and here we are going to bring in the addition block. Now we are going to we will get the seconds, and then we are going to add one to the second so that it will get incremented by one. Next we are going to bring in an if condition. So if the global seconds is five, which means five seconds is over, we need to move on to the next slide. So from the math blocks we are going to bring in equal to block and here i'm going to if global seconds is equal to number 5 then we need to move on to the next color so here you can see if global seconds is equal to number 5 to move on to the next we are going to check we are going to put another if condition to check which color is currently on in the traffic light so we are going to use the global color variable for this Now again we are going to put the equal to block instead of global seconds we are going to put the global color so if the global color is equal to red let's we are going to duplicate this if it is if the global color is equal to red which means the current glowing light is red we need to change it to yellow because 5 seconds is over so we are going to bring in this we are going to bring in this block LED view dot animate light intensity. So we are going to switch off the red red light. So we are going to put the intensity to be zero so that the red light will be switched off, which is LED view one. We are going to switch on the yellow light because five seconds is over. So to switch on the yellow light, let's change this to be yellow, and the intensity is going to be three. And we are going to do this in LED view two. So we are going to do it in LED view too because it should be visible in horizontal arrangement too. Now after we do this we are going to reset the global seconds to be 0. So let's go to here we are going to bring in this block set global seconds to. The global seconds is going to be 0 because we are going to reset the global seconds. Next we are going to change the global color variable this variable to be yellow because we have switched on the yellow light. Let's let's duplicate this and we are going to change this to be yellow. Next we are going to duplicate this if condition again. And here we are going to put if the global seconds is equal to 5 we will check if the global color is equal to yellow which means the yellow light is on. Then after five seconds, we need to switch on the next light, which is the green light. So we, for that, we are going to switch off the yellow light. So here, yellow, the intensity is going to be zero, and we will switch on the green light. So green, the, so we to switch off the yellow light, we are going to put LED view two, and then the green light is LED view three because we are going to show it in this horizontal arrangement, which is horizontal arrangement three. So let's put green color here. Here we are going to change the global color to be green. Now again we are going to duplicate this if condition. And if if the global color is equal to green, then again we are going to show the red color after 5 seconds. So if the green light which is the third horizontal arrangement is on we need to after 5 seconds we need to switch on the red light again so it's going to loop like that so here you can see if it is equal to green then we will switch off led view 3 which is the green color 
and then we will switch on the LED view one which is the red color so let's change this to be red and here the global color is going to be red so here you can see the traffic light app and the red light is on now after 5 seconds the yellow light is on and then now the green light is on so it will loop again so now after the green light the red light is switched on again so it will loop continuously now do you want to create a chat app using MIT App Inventor? Click one of the videos here and also watch my full course of MIT App Inventor.